Hey, what's up guys? What I'm going to show you today is how this laptop can extend to this PC as a second monitor. Well, most of you would say, just go ahead and plug that monitor into your laptop and then you will have a second monitor. Well, of course, yeah, that's easy. But this laptop doesn't have any HDMI ports, so I cannot just go ahead and directly plug it there. I need a Type-C connector going to HDMI, wherein I don't have that one right now. So that's the scenario that I'm facing right now. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can wirelessly connect to this PC and use this entire screen as another monitor. Well, if you have been following my YouTube channel, I did this one a couple years back, laptop to another laptop, extending the display of a main laptop to another laptop, using it as a second monitor. So if you haven't watched that one and this is your first time here, of course, continue watching and I'm going to show it to you. This monitor is connected to my PC. So what we need to do is configure this PC to accept wireless display connections, okay? So that's what we're going to do first. Uh, we go here and goes um, project. So I don't know if you can see this one, just type in projection settings right here. I hope you can read this one. This is projection settings. You type in your start menu and then go for that. You'll have this option, launch the wireless display app to project to this PC. Okay, so I'm just going to click that and then T-Pro Studio is ready for you to connect wirelessly. Okay, so it's already ready. Now, jump. let's jump into my laptop here. Just like any other PC, if you are going to connect to a projector or you want to present, just go ahead and press Windows P. Okay, so to come up with this uh, option, you go ahead and press the uh, Windows button and P at the same time, then this will pop up. Then you will have these options, but this option here doesn't show me a wireless display of the PC. So I'll just go ahead and go for settings here, more display settings. And then this will open up more options, right? So since it opens up more options, I'm just going to go ahead and multiple display. So I hope you can read this one. Connect to a wireless, to a wireless display, right? Okay, so before you connect to this wireless display here, you need to make sure that you are connected to the same wireless network. Both of them are connected to the same Wi-Fi network. So I'm just going to go ahead and press connect. Then it's going to search and then I'm go I can see already T-Pro Studio PC wherein we have that one there. T-Pro Studio PC. Let's go back here. And you can see this one. I'll just go ahead and click that and it's going to connect. Follow any instructions on your device. Let's wait. There you go, Bambe. So you can see that I'm actually extended to this PC extended here wirelessly, all right? All right, so I'll get back here. I can also use the mouse in the keyboard of this computer. So as if this is another PC already and I'm using this one. So there's a little bit of delay if I may say, but you see, we are projected, we are extended. So I'll just show you this one. It's going to come from this other monitor here. See, there. Laptop, minimize this one and what else can we do? Yeah, you can see that? I'm coming from my laptop, going back here. Of course, this is a very big screen. That's why it seems like my laptop is very small. So anyways, guys, um, there's a drawback using this one. It's good for presenting to a bigger screen that is connected to a PC wirelessly, but you will have the latency or there will be a little bit of a lag. In some scenarios, this is a very perfect solution, especially if you do not have that cable going to another PC and you want to use a bigger screen like my case. And take note, guys, that um, this will be very effective if you have a good wireless connection from in the entire room, okay? So it will, if, if you have a slow wi wireless connection like maybe 2.4G and you're trying to project a very big uh, display, it might have more of that lag. It will be lagging a bit. So 
anyways, another option and another solution that I've shown you. And I hope you have learned something from this video, guys. Hope to see you in my next video. If you haven't subscribed in this YouTube channel yet, smash the subscribe button, like this video, and share it to your friends. See you in the next one.